Hello all and welcome back to another wallet overview video. Today we'll be looking at the Neo Tracker web wallet, a time tested option that's been available for a number of years and made a name for itself by providing easy access to most of Neo's basic functionality, including sends, receives, NEP5 tokens, and all that good stuff. Neo Tracker's wallet is an open source option and it accepts private key, encrypted key, or key store files as login methods. Although it should be noted that it doesn't follow the NEP2 key store standard. Instead, it simply uses text files that contain the encrypted key. Although it is a web wallet, private data is all stored and decrypted locally so that the wallet remains completely non-custodial and your keys are never sent anywhere they shouldn't be. That being said, web wallets are, as always, particularly vulnerable to phishing attacks. So be very careful and make sure that you're actually on the real neotracker.io website before opening a wallet. Other benefits of the wallet include quick access to NeoTracker's other utilities, such as the Blockchain Explorer, for example, to check out transaction details or view a contract, and it gives complete control over network fees, which is always nice to see. The team has also recently added a MoonPay integration, which is used to provide an in-wallet on-ramp for moving fiat to crypto. Okay, so here on this wallet page, we have a few simple options, mainly the new wallet and open wallet option. Using the open wallet, you can access via an encrypted key, a private key, or a key store file. Although this does not follow the NEP2 standard, it is just simply an encrypted key in a text file. But instead of that, we're gonna go ahead and use the new wallet function. So let's go ahead and do this and add a password. Uh, this is the password that is going to be used to encrypt our private key. So if we ever use this encrypted key in another wallet, this password will also work there. And it's going to go ahead and prompt you to download a copy of your encrypted key. So go ahead and do that. This is going to be your backup. Along with your password, this is how you're going to get into the wallet. And it'll also give you a copy of the private key, which I'm going to go ahead and copy here for logging back into the wallet. You can also print a paper version as a little prompt for that too. Okay, so here we are in our new wallet. We can see there is a drop down menu here. So if you had multiple wallets open, then you could just switch between them here quite easily. And we can also see the asset UI, which is showing that we don't currently have any NEO or gas in this address. And also if we had any NEP5 tokens, we would also see those listed here. We can also see the prompt here for claiming gas, but let's go ahead and jump down straight to the details section where we can copy our public address just by clicking on this and I'm gonna go ahead and send some assets to this new address now. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our one Neo in the account and we are accruing gas as expected. So let's go ahead and perform a transfer as well. This is where having the block explorer nearby is very convenient. We can go ahead and grab the address that we sent from and go ahead and paste that in there. I'm gonna send one Neo and you can see in here the drop down to change your assets. You can also specify an optional network fee Remember the priority fee limit starts at 0.001 gas, but it will go ahead and recommend you a fee based on an average of previous transactions, which is quite nice to have. Let's go ahead and make this send. And we're greeted with a prompt that just lets us know that the transfer has now been initiated and we'll just take a short while to confirm. And there we can see that the wallet is empty and that transaction has been sent as expected. So we did just demo it briefly, but I think this is quite a useful part about this wallet. It's that you have the block explorer right at your fingertips. You can see addresses, you can see your recent transactions, and obviously you can also get into different things such as the actual blocks and all the latest block information. You can see other transactions, you can see addresses, you can go through all the various assets that are deployed on Neo. And another one that is more unique to Neo Tracker, although Dora also has it now, is a way to explore all the contracts that have been deployed onto the Neo blockchain as well. So having quick access to all those from the same place where you have your wallet is pretty useful in some situations. We also covered the network fees. And you can see another example here of how that recommended fee option is being changed over time. I do believe they mention here, yeah, that it's the average network fee of the last 30 non-minor transactions. So if everyone else is using a, a fee of around 0.003, then that's what it's going to recommend that you use to make sure that your transaction is going to go ahead and get processed within a timely manner, usually in the next block, which takes about 15 seconds. The last feature that we wanted to show off is the MoonPay integration. You can get to this through the Buy Neo button. And here you can use USD with a debit or credit card to directly purchase Neo from the MoonPay service. 
You can also see an FAQ here on the swap page, so you can go ahead and get some extra information here about who can and cannot currently use the service. And here we can see in the MoonPay section, you have a little drop down burger menu here where you can see trade history, you can change your default currency and get a little bit of other information about MoonPay. And seems to be priced relatively close to the market, although surely with some kind of fees over on MoonPay's side, can't speak to that as we have not tested it. But that's going to be pretty much everything we have to show for this wallet. We hope you all enjoyed. NeoTracker has been around for the longest time and it is an open source wallet. So it is certainly one that you can trust. Um, but as always with any browser wallet, you need to exercise a little bit of caution and make sure that you are visiting the correct website. Because if you are not, then you could find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Thank you all once again and we hope to see you in the next video.